YouTube family. Welcome back to my channel. I am trying to comb out my hair. <laughs> it's so ratty and it's getting to that cold time of year where the air is just kind of dry and cold and it makes my hair very dry and just kind of staticky. So I might need to think about switching my shampoo to some sort of hydrating shampoo because my hair in the winter is so different from my hair in the summer. But anyway, today's video is one that I'm very, very excited about. We're gonna be doing some Christmas decorating and just some fun things like that. This morning here, I well, I wanna get my hair combed and then some of the ladies in Chip's family are actually meeting at a coffee shop this morning and I told myself if I can get some stuff done here, like get my laundry started, get my workout in, stuff like that, then I'll maybe go. So I'm trying to get my stuff done and then I might head over to the coffee shop. If you noticed, I did not have a video up last week and the reason was we had actually made a quick trip to Florida for the weekend. We went for a wedding and I just did not have time to film anything ahead of time. So I decided, you know what, it's okay. We'll skip this week. We'll get back into it next week. So that's why there was no video last week and I didn't even tell you guys that there wasn't gonna be one. So. Sorry about that. I asked over on my Instagram of some content ideas. I'm planning out my content for the month of December and just trying to kind of get a feel of what you guys wanna see from me. And I got some really good ideas from Instagram, but I thought if you guys over here on YouTube have any ideas of content that you wanna see, let me know in the comments and we'll see what we can do about it. <laughs> but a few things that you can look forward to seeing probably from me in the future would be like, my evening routines, my morning routines, some holiday baking. Obviously today we're gonna do some Christmas decorating, which was something that was requested, and just some homemaking content in general. So we'll see what we can come up with. I'm really excited about all my video ideas and just kind of, you know, getting creative with my content and yeah. excuse this terrible funky lighting but it is so dreary outside so I have my light on and it's giving very weird lighting but I thought I'd give you a little outfit of the day I am wearing a denim skirt from Main Street Exchange I'm out of breath because I just worked out and made the bed and I'm really warm as I was saying <laughs> This sweater is actually thrifted, and I like it because it's not super long, but it's just long enough, the perfect length, and then my tank top is from Grace and Joy Co. So, that's an outfit of the day. Woo, Teo. And this is Robbie's outfit of the day. I think this used to be Mateo's outfit. It's from Target. But yeah, I really like also this high-waisted denim skirt. I think it's really cute. It is the most rainy, dreary fall day. It is so rainy. But I actually got my stuff done. I started my laundry, made the bed, I did my workouts, and I actually left a little bit early and dropped some stuff off at the thrift store. I had really been debating if I was even gonna go to the coffee shop and meet them today, but Teo was having a morning and I was having a morning, so I decided I cannot stay in the house this morning. I, you guys know, you have kids, sometimes you just get a little bit overstimulated. So I decided we have to get out of the house for my sanity's sake or I'm gonna go crazy. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It is pouring rain right now. But I'm hoping that this little trip out of the house will just kind of reset us, reset Mateo. We'll get back. Once they go down for naps, I can do a little bit of Christmas decorating. We'll see. Okay guys, we're back home. I just gave Ravi his bottle and stuck him to bed. Poor little guy was so tired because I went to the coffee shop over his nap time. And so he kind of missed out on a normal long nap. So I have to show you what I did recently in the house. Best decision ever. So as you know, here, let me turn the camera around. As you know, all of Mateo's toys used to be out here. And right now this is just Ravi's stuff. 
which that's gonna be put in storage soon because he's almost outgrowing it. But all of Mateo's toys used to be out here and just cluttering up this entire space and driving me nuts. And I was originally going to get a cabinet to put toys in where the swing is, where Ravi's swing is, but I was like, I just don't like having all these toys in our living space. So I decided we are gonna move things around and we're gonna move all of the toys out to the sunroom. Um, and we got a heater out there that in the, it's a heater and an AC thing so it can go both ways. So that works finally and let me show you, this is the best thing ever. Cow Owie. Cow Owie. Yeah. <laughs> he plays so much better out here. So he's got that and then all his toys are in here and I found a big old toy box from TJ Maxx, super inexpensive. So that is literally all the toys he owns and right there and I think eventually I'm gonna get a different coffee table one that's not a glass top because little kids in here with fingerprints and breaking things glass is not a good idea I'll put a little inspo pic of the kind of coffee table I'm gonna get hopefully chip will make for me but this has been such a good decision he just he loves it out here and he can look outside I also have another really exciting thing to show you chip built us a deck I am so excited for this. It just needs a railing yet. The railing is, we ordered the railing, but it's not in yet. But let me show you this deck that he built. And the nice thing is it's right off the toy room. So the boys next summer will be able to go out here and play. This is just so, oh my word, I'm so excited. And we ordered some patio furniture to go in this side. We got it on sale at Walmart. Very excited about that. So this summer the boys will be able to go in and out of the toy room to the deck. <laughs> I think he's excited too. <laughs> Something else I want to show you. I know I'm just kind of showing you all this random stuff, but it's like all this stuff that I keep thinking, oh, I need to update you guys on. And this is just kind of small, but something I've been loving is this planner that I've been using to plan my YouTube content. I actually was really debating, I don't know if you guys have heard of Golden Coil or not, but they have these beautiful planners with a golden coil, but they are so expensive. Like I'm talking like 70 bucks, but you can customize them and all that stuff. I decided I'm gonna see how it goes to do like a bullet journal type of planner for my YouTube. So I tried it in just an old journal that I had and I really liked it. So I got this one from Staples and then I just do like a burn a bullet journal layout inside of it. But this is the Martha Stewart line, I believe. Let me show you up close. So yeah, this is the Martha Stewart planner. It's kind of like a leather taupe color and it came with smaller silver coils, but I bought a pack of um, coils that you can put in here that makes that you can have a thicker journal. So just looking at it here, I have my spread for November and here I have video ideas, a column for video ideas, my to-do list, and then I have planned out my videos for each week. And then this is my December layout as well. I have been loving this and I can link this planner or at least try to find it, um, but I got it at Staples. But it's just something that I've been loving lately so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna show it to you guys. And bullet journaling is just so much fun. It's a fun way to plan. So, and then also, this is my favorite pen for journaling. It's like a really fine tip. And I can link this one down below as well, but oh, I love it for bullet journals. A very fun package came in the mail yesterday. For the first time since we're married, we are going to be having a Christmas tree and I am so excited. Please excuse my son yelling out in the toy room. I don't know what he's doing. But it's gonna, the, the Christmas tree is gonna go where the swing is. And the reason we never put one up before is because I used to have a chair that always sat there. But the chair, we've moved everything around and now I'm gonna put like a slim Christmas tree there. And I'm gonna unbox this thing and we're gonna get into some Christmas decorating. <music>
so here is the Christmas tree. I need to fluff it up a little bit in those spots yet, but sadly, the top does not light up. This was the four and a half star review tree on Amazon, and there was one review that said half of the lights didn't work. Alrighty then. But guys, I just don't think I have the mental energy to do another Amazon return on a large item. I just, I think somewhere in my Christmas decorations I have a string of battery operated lights I'm just gonna put on the top. I don't have the energy to pack up this whole tree and send it back. Plus I'm impatient and I don't wanna wait for a new one. So we're just gonna make do, I think. Yeah. All right, I took the Christmas tree down. I'm so sad. I was talking to Chip about it and I was like, I'll just put in some battery operated lights. But when I held them up, it just was going to look so tacky. And plus Chip was like, that's ridiculous that we bought this thing and it doesn't work. So we are returning it and getting a new one for free. It's from Amazon, so it's a free return. And I was like, you know what? You're right, because if I'm gonna pay for something, I want it to work, you know? So I put an exchange in and Chip has to go into town anyway today, so he's gonna just take it back. And it's supposed to be here in several days, but sadly I can't decorate the tree now in this video, but you know, we'll do our other stuff, but man, I was looking forward to that. But oh well, we'll do it another day. pardon my hair but I thought I would give you a quick little Christmas tour of the house show you what I did because there's a couple things that I didn't really show in the decorating portion of the video but I'm just gonna go over it real quick starting with the entryway here eventually I really want to do something completely different on this wall but for now <laughs> I just hung those little bells and some mistletoe right there I don't love it honestly but it's gonna it'll it's fine and then the piano, I just stuck my cute little nativity scene. This one is from Target, I believe, from like two years ago or so. So the piano, she's looking fine. And this little guy decided to wake up and join me. Hi. <laughs> so for the mantle, this is the situation going on here. I actually picked up those candles and candlesticks. Those are new from this year from Hobby Lobby. The garland and beads are from last year. I believe I got them from maybe Co Calico Creek in PA, not quite sure. Um, and then the stockings, I think those might even be from Hobby Lobby as well. If not Hobby Lobby, Target last year. Then I just put up some little houses and a tree and those have little lights in them. And I used to have twinkle lights in this, but I decided to take them out because um, once my new tree comes, it's going to be right there and it's going to be lit up and this is going to be like the focal point of my Christmas decor, the um, fireplace right here. Moving over to the table here, I just did a really simple tablescape. I saw this on Pinterest, just a cute little Christmas wreath with some candlesticks in it. That's all I did. I thought it'd be really cute to hang a wreath on my door there, but less is more, you know? And then in the kitchen, the only thing I did was hang this garland up. Well, I did also put a candlestick on there, but it's not really Christmas, I guess. That's some Christmas stuff that I'm getting rid of that I just never use. So that's the situation in the kitchen. And then the only thing I did in the bathroom here was put this little tree, and then there's a wreath that hangs in here the whole time, but put that little tree in the bathroom. I know it's nothing super crazy. I didn't really go all out, which I don't just love going all out because our house is pretty small. And if I do too much, it suddenly just starts to look really cluttered. So I decided not to do not to make it too full and crowded. So that's what I got for Christmas. I think it's gonna be so cozy. I can't wait to get my tree up and I'll just, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be in another vlog when I decorate it or what it will be, but I'll definitely update you guys and show it to you once it's here. It's supposed to come on Wednesday, the day you guys are watching this. So, and today is Friday. So it makes me so sad to wait that long, but you know what? 
patience is a virtue and it's fine <laughs> i think i'm gonna wrap up this video i don't really have anything else that's going to be fun to video. Chip actually picked up some steaks when he was in town and thought we can do steaks tonight, so I need to make some side dishes to go with that. So really nothing, nothing too crazy. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop in the comments below if you have some content ideas. I would love to hear from you guys and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you next week very soon. Bye.